The point is, this Luke 22, 21 to 40, I've been read repeatedly, 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 and we have witnessed the Christian of our babies in a number of parishes. This is not an exception. The important thing to remind ourselves is that children are heritage of God. As rightly said in the book of Psalm 127, verse 3, the joy of it, the joy for us, our pride as parents is that it's the womb, fruit of the womb. Because the mothers, they carry the babies. This is the joy. But you must acknowledge that children are God's heritage. They are not for you. They are not for me. You are just a means of transportation of this gift of God into the world. And for a while, you are granted the opportunity to guide them. The Lord says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29, that human beings have been created perfect by God. This baby is perfect. She's been created in the image of God. God is righteous. God is perfect. The angels are right. They don't turn right. They don't turn left. They go straight. And that is the difference between human beings and angels. Angels have their, they don't have their own will. They are forced, whether they like it or not, they have to do the will of God. And consequently, the Lord is saying, as I've known my laws, my statutes, this Romans me chapter 11 from verse 17. You should impact this. And then the Lord's wrath. And then the Lord's wrath. Be kindled against you. Yes. And he shut up the heaven. Yes. That there be no rain. Yes. And that the land yield not her fruit. Yes. And lest ye perish quickly. Yes. Yes. From of the good land which the Lord giveth to you. Yes. Therefore shall ye lay up this my word. Therefore, in if you don't, if we don't want the dews of heaven to be sealed off. We must learn the words of the Lord, the righteousness of God, the teachings of the Lord in our heart and the life of this girl. Yes. And in your soul. And your soul. And bind them for a sign upon your hand. Bind them for signs because this is your only Lord. A number of people are wandering about in the world. The world is no more than wilderness for them. They don't know where to turn right or to turn left. They have no shelter, they have no comfort simply because they lack or they are not willing to obey the righteousness of God. You cannot substitute your intelligence for God's principles. Yes. And you shall teach them your children. You must teach these laws, these principles of God to your children. Speaking of them, when thou sittest in thine house, when you sit and when thou walkest by the when day, you sit at home to eat, speak about the word of God, not gossiping. This girl is very pure now. She's innocent now. Yes. When thou walkest by the way, when you are walking up and down, and when thou lies down, discuss the fear of the Lord. Discuss the fear of the Lord <coughs> to your children. Discuss the laws. The substitute is God. Yes. And when thou uh, and when thou risest up, when you rise, also teach the word of God to your children. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thy house. Also on the lintel of your house and upon thy gate. Write the word of God that your days may be multiplied. So that if you do this, 
nothing will cut short your days. And the days of your children. The days of your children also will prolong. In the land which the Lord has given to them. Amen. You will inherit the riches of the Gentiles. Amen. It is very, very important for you to appreciate that those who have been born with silver and diamond spoons are nowhere to be found. While passing through the corridor of life. Because the parents trust in on their abundance. Sometimes I will take the children when they were kids. I will take them to where the destitutes, the blinds, the lives, where they were. In, the, in their fifties and sixties, covering themselves with umbrella in rain. Now show them. See these people? They were born like you were born. They were born the same way you were born. They are now, this is 11 p.m. in the night. They are sitting here, sleeping here. The wives are delivering their babies here. They are feeding the babies with gutter water. You are not better than them. I will not make a distinction between an housemaid and a child. You have to teach your children the hard way so that they can be powerful. We thank the Lord a number of people who die immediately at the point of delivery and the Lord will raise that child. And nothing will happen to that child. And that child will also grow, grow great and become mighty. When the Israelites were complaining in the wilderness, how oh, we are training us among these lepers, among these snakes, and our children who are three days old, three months old, how do we? The Lord said, Hey, the children are mine. The Lord killed the parents, and nothing happened to all the children. He says in Matthew 13, the parable of the sower. A sower was going about sowing good, sowing good seeds, sowing good seeds. And the following day, they came and they saw tars growing. And they said, Master, you planted good seed from where are these tars coming in? He said, the enemy did it. You are an enemy of God if you are sowing tars into the life of this baby. If you are sowing gossip into the life of this baby, you are an enemy of God. If you are sowing hostility, bitterness, revenge into the life of this baby, you are an enemy of God. Because what you are sowing will now be growing within this baby and can in fact overshadow the goodness of God in the baby and the baby becomes violent while passing through the corridor of life. As far as she is concerned now, you parents are the God. She sees nobody, she doesn't know any God. She sees you as the God. So whatever you do will forever remain with her. The way you talk bitterly, the way you gossip, the way you fight, will become part and puzzle of the baby. <laughs> Let us be careful. It's an heritage of the Lord. Must be raised in the principles and laws of God. The Lord will bless his baby. Amen. And make her mighty in the land of the living. Amen. She will share heritage with the mighty ones. Amen. And all those already in the house of the Lord. And at various homes. The mighty pillar of fire. Will never withdraw yes. them from there. Amen. They will grow mighty. Amen. They will capture the territories of their enemies. Yeah. And the key to the door of the joy of their enemies will remain in their hands. Yeah. Bless this baby, my God. Yeah.